Hey, are you getting Sean on the camera there? Tell him your last name again, Sean. Sean O'Connor. Yeah. Jesus. How <laughs> Irish can you get? Yeah, Sean Patrick O'Connor. I got wow. Irish. Jesus God. <laughs> now, Norm, you know... Uh, I knew a couple of Irish guys. I bet you did. <laughs> uh, it was... Uh, uh, what was what were their names? I didn't know them. <laughs> oh no, Patrick Fitz Ryan <laughs> and Ryan Fitzpatrick. <laughs> <laughs> what did you know those guys? No, no. What Patrick Fitz Ryan and Ryan Fitzpatrick? <laughs> no, who are they? <laughs> the first Irish gay couple. <laughs> <laughs> they fit each other. <laughs> I always love Norm because he explains the joke. Marcus is just looking at me. Oh, he does sound Irish. Hey, Norm, what year? Like, when did you know? When and I'm serious. When did you know you were good at stand up? Like, did, uh, I think he just made himself cry. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> when did you know? Okay, you know what? I I might be able to make some money doing uh, this. You know what it was? It was like. Uh, Everyone out. I I didn't think I'd be any good because the guy said you should do it. It was mostly that everyone else sucked. Is that what it was? And you thought I got to be better than this? Kinda. Really? Like, I didn't because you always like because when I started stand up, I didn't know there was stand up. Like right. I just see, I thought there was like six stand ups. You see right. TV. <laughs> right. See him on Carson. Yeah. Right. Lucky bastards. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So you never thought there were actual clubs, and then when I found there were clubs, and then I said there were amateur nights, and then when I went in there, everyone didn't seem very good. So. So you watched it one night and yeah. thought, I can do this. Yeah, yeah, do you remember your first confidence. joke? Oh, God, they were so terrible. Awesome. I remember writing it down. I remember writing down my jokes on a piece of paper, uh -huh. and then I, I had spaces where the audience would say things, and then I'd say <laughs> back. <laughs> did you ever do that? No. Like a mad loop. <laughs> yeah, like I had it all planned out, what and they would say. They just me. didn't do their part, did yeah, they? Yeah, they did We had to hand out scripts. <laughs> I paid you, man. <laughs> Why am I doing your job? <laughs> so did you have, like... But uh, amateur night, as you know, is weird because oh. there's a lot of, like, psychopaths. Oh, my God, I call dude. it therapy. It's yeah. therapy night, especially open mics, because I've been oh to a couple God, of those. Yeah. And you're like, so crazy. what Sorry. is wrong with you? I really do. I'm Lay down when you do this. Right. Norm, I got real lucky in, in town uh -huh. here, and I, I you know, I, I, I'm like, <clears throat> I got to live every comic's dream, which is I get to work nonstop. Oh, great awesome. money and not have to go on the road. Yeah, that's great. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was able to do that early, even before radio and stuff. Right. And uh, I just got really lucky. Well, I used to host this open mic night, uh -huh. and there was a guy called himself like the iron, <laughs> the iron working comedian. Oh, no. <laughs> and this is like, uh, I want to say early 90s. And, there and, was jobs. <laughs> well, you know, it's like right after the Kinnison dice explosion. And right. Everybody in the world, if you knew a cuss word, you could be a comedian, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And this guy got up and he wrote an opera about the N-word. And, the <laughs> N and it was just that word sung in a melody. Oh and he God. did it for a minute and a half. Wow. Now, every comic in the room is on the floor. Yeah. And every audience member is dead. Dead silent. <laughs> and which, as you know, someone bombing is the greatest thing yeah, you've ever seen. Is really, it not? Yes. Yeah, uh, open Plus mics are the funniest things ever. Do yeah. you ever still go? You ever go? I well, should, because they always are the most enjoyable things. <laughs> I mean, it might look cruel to now because I've been on TV. Was, so. was the guy white or what? black that did that? White. Oh, my God. That's why it was so insane. <laughs> Yeah. What, he, I, what, he was a W word? Yeah, he was a W. <laughs> <laughs> he was an H word? Yeah, he was an H word. Michael Richard. <laughs> the early years. <laughs> no, and you're not really, like, I mean, your stand-up's never really been outrageously dirty. No. I mean, you'll say some crazy stuff, but no. I've never heard you go on a tirade or anything. Oh, no, right? no. Or are you doing that now? I, I don't know. I don't get very dirty. I mean, I don't. I, I swear, kind of like uh, whatever. What do you call it? Like just when you talk. Yeah, like, like fleeting. Yeah. Yeah. Gratuitously, kind of pointlessly, just how people talk. But do you, I don't do anything of dirty. Do you have a favorite joke that you've ever written? Um, the top ten. <laughs> oh, Sean has one. Uh oh. That he wrote or that, no, that he does in his act. <laughs> of yours? No. <laughs> Wait, do I? Didn't you? I thought you did. Oh, no, I don't have a favorite joke of mine. I, uh, 
What's one you like, though? <laughs> Norm can't think of any of his jokes right now. I, He's I, gonna, Norm's going to show up any minute. Don't worry. What was one of your first jokes? Oh, my first joke is awful. It well, was let's really hear it. Bad. It was uh, dirty. Yeah, no. It, I mean, I guess kind of the topic is dirty, but it's a clean, dirty joke. Go ahead. We'll, Say, if we'll we have to it. dump it, we will. It was about Rocky Four. Yes. Or Rocky Five. It was about Rocky Five. Jesus. It was about Rocky Five. He's young. Yeah. My actually, my I was actually Rocky Two. That puts it in perspective. <laughs> it was about Rocky Five and how he uh, bare knuckle boxed Tommy the Machine Gun, which is Tommy Morrison. Yeah. And uh, how that guy has AIDS. Yes. So you know that old saying, when you bare knuckle box someone, you're bare knuckle boxing everyone that puts a bare knuckle box. Yeah. That's a great That's joke. A great Way better than the first joke I ever wrote. Yeah. Oh, it was horrible. The Snickers joke. Uh, my girlfriend, I, literally, I used to hope it would. This is so bad. Uh, my girl, I'm sorry if I seem like I'm in a bad mood, but my girlfriend just broke off with me because she said I couldn't satisfy her. Oh, so no. I bought her a box of Snickers oh, bars because right. they really satisfy. Oh. <laughs> that was my first joke. Oh. I like how you have to say the end. Yeah, because they really <laughs> said I had to explain it. <laughs> Did you close with, that's my first joke, joke ever? ever. <laughs> Did you bring it back? I was so lucky, though. The first time on stage, I did well. And then the next four times, I just ate a giant, huge whatever. Yeah. But those four times where I bombed, I'll never forget. I can't remember any other open mic experiences, yeah. but those four in a row where I'm just like, what am I? Why am I? Like the third one, you really start to question your own sanity. Yeah, I didn't I didn't do well for my entire first year of comedy. I bombed the entire time. I don't even know why I still do it. Like, I just bombed That's so hard. Norm, have you ever seen a complete meltdown on stage? Um, I mean, like that kind of psychotic F you audience and just somebody walk. Oh, yeah, where they blame the audience oh, for their lack of Oh, you mean other than balance. me? Yeah, other than you. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, your yeah. stories are legendary. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I've, seen, I've seen that a lot. Yeah. yeah. People, people really seem to blame the audience. I saw Hicks, Bill Hicks, uh -huh. in in Baltimore at an old club. It used to be called Winchester's. And it was upstairs. It was a really cool comedy room. And uh, I, I was hosting. I mean, I was so young. And it was Bill Hicks, man. Yeah, you know. Yeah. The first show, he's so brilliant. Like, you're just like, oh, my God. In between the first and second show, you know, you know what a shaker glass is, bartender yeah, shoes, yeah. the big tin things. Ice and Crown Royal to the top. <laughs> and he just drank the whole thing in between the two shows and then took another one on stage. And I'm not making this up. The place used to hold like 191 people. It was sold out. He did not leave until it was me, him, the wait staff, and the owner left on stage. He made everybody walk. <laughs> like, you hear guys walk a room. He literally walked everyone. <laughs> and as the last person left, he said, you should be ashamed of yourself for sitting through this for as long as you did. And he slammed the mic down and walked back to the bar, sat down and looked at the owner and went, you don't have to pay me for that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was so insane. Did you ever meet him? No. We, yeah. Yes. Did you see the documentary? I'm sorry, I did. No, I didn't see the documentary. You should see it. Yeah. I think you'd like it. What, yeah. what documentary? It's called American, the Bill Hicks story. Oh, did you know that? I know, I know. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I'm young. I'm not sure you've even heard of Bill Hicks. Yeah, who? Who's this guy? Shut up. You know who Bill Hicks is. <laughs> I, I didn't know who he was until I started working with you. Yeah, but you're not smart. They are. Oh! <laughs> I'm glad to hear that we're actually still doing our same hey, show. Hey, Norm, you still do Burt Reynolds? Uh, no. Come on. The greatest impression in the history I of I didn't like doing Burt Reynolds. Why? Because when I was young, he was the coolest guy. I, I still think he him, is. And I loved smoking the bandit. <laughs> Yeah. See? Where, the greatest Greg, show. You yeah. see this kid right here? Explain Please. to him. He's leaving. No, no, no. <laughs> get over to the microphone. Greg, we had get, this discussion two weeks ago. He Norm. doesn't like smoking he, the band. No. I told him he you're not a it. man unless you think that's one of the top <laughs> right. five movies ever made. And he totally doesn't get the movie. Doesn't really? like the car, doesn't like anything. That's oh, the, yeah. unbelievable. What'd you call the car? You said so. Uh, you yeah, said on so the microphone, Dum Dum. Let's go. Uh, I said it looked like a car from Dundalk. I said it's, it's the same ones that are, you know. I don't know. It's like just, a white it's, trashy. It's, it's, it's Trans Am. Come on. It's the coolest. I uh, know, Norm. It, there's no I mean, response. I guess it's cool. I Is mean, you what Bubba Watson is uh, going to bring to the Masters next year? <laughs> there's no, no joke. Oh, what? He, apparently, he owns 
General Lee from uh, Dukes of Hazard. Oh, really? Bubba Watson's going to show up in the General Lee. Yeah, that's what they say, and everybody's worried because you know the Masters guys. There are <laughs> enough trouble. They don't want right, yeah. the General Lee to show. Yeah, they don't them. actually want the flag. <laughs> <laughs> they can't rebel flag as much as they'd love to fly it. It's bad enough they got to let Tiger in the front door. <laughs> you think they're going to want the General Lee? Did you ever hear that joke about when Tiger goes to Augusta? To, you know, he's just driving through Georgia. You know. Yeah. And this was a, a guy who told me this, a southern guy told yeah. me this. He said, man, Tiger, come up to Augusta, and uh, and uh, he just driving by and want to play a pl- practice round. So he goes, and, the, and the, the guy at the front, he's a good old boy, you know, the guard. And he says, listen now, he says, you can't play here at Augusta now. If you want to play, uh, there's a public course down. He goes, it's about a, about a four iron down the road. Tiger says, don't you know who I am? I'm Tiger Woods. I'm sorry, the fella says. It's about an eight hour. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, Norm, you guys okay? Yeah. I, can turn the, I can turn the music down. What's the matter, Norm? Oh, I, I, got, I got something. I got, I got it. What'd you, what'd you think? Thought, thought you I lost my phone. That's the worst. You guys it? are both working on your phones. Yeah, I lost my keys earlier today. What do you have keys for? You didn't even have a my car? House. Oh, yeah, your house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So now, they're gone. Do you live in Hollywood, or where do you live out there? I live in, uh, yeah, well, Santa Monica, it's called. Yeah. What's I've heard of it. He lives in Hollywood. Sean lives in Hollywood. I do live in Hollywood. What, that, what, what part? Is true. Uh, Hollywood. I, oh, it's downtown? Uh, I live right ab- above downtown. Yeah. Yeah, I live in an Armenian neighborhood. Well, is it, well, that's not bad if it's the Kardashian one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, have a, I have a feeling it's not that one. It is not that one. <laughs> right. it is, they're definitely as hairy. But uh, <laughs> they, they love yelling. Oh, remember at the good old days when you could just call them gypsies? <laughs> now, Sean, I mean, you said you knew one of our friends, Justin uh, Daniels, who works yeah. here at uh, 98 Rock. How did he end up in a really nice suburb of like Burbank and you're in like hell? Oh, I have no idea. I guess he had this sweet radio gig. And, and he has a girlfriend that works really hard. Yeah, you have a yeah, girlfriend yeah. that's yeah. helping you out? Yeah, I have a, gr- a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. She He's works at a... He's going to marry her. Yeah, probably. Whoa. Uh- <laughs> Slow down, Norm. <laughs> I thought you were engaged. No, like, we're, like we talk about it uh, and stuff. But, how uh, come, like... Kimwe. Don't they call you guys Kimwe? Kimwe? Why why are you Kimwe? Uh, <laughs> you thinking of somebody else? Oh, no, I'm thinking of, I'm sorry, I'm thinking of Con- Kanye and Kim. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Now, Norm, when you were on SNL, you obviously had to follow pop culture and all that for the nude stuff. Do you follow it now? I didn't really have to follow it. No, the writers did for you. I mean, I would just look in the paper every day and like yeah. read the headlines. But right. I'm way this guy, Sean, knows all the popular culture. You right. can ask him any question. <laughs> you, uh, you have deflected every No, question. I'm serious. I'm serious. Ask him a question. Who is uh, who is Khloe Kardashian's husband? Lamar Odom. Oh, see? see? Ask, him ask, him ask him something non-Hollywood. You um, ask him a hard one. No, it's got to be pop culture. Pop not, culture. It has no, to be pop culture. Oh, oh a pop culture. Oof. I who was Kim's that. first husband? Oh, oh is that, that 30-year-old record producer? <laughs> Damn. I don't know his name. That's, that's, I'll take that, though. Uh, what movie was just released? It's the uh, fourth installment of uh, the, the big teen movie from the 90s. Oh, the four, oh, American Reunion. There you go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. that hey, uh, how much money did Norm lose in 2010? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Don't make Norm mad. I like Norm. I, I love I Norm. Know. But it's bad. You can't beat Norm. him up too much. No, come on. Stop you have it. a problem too, you know. What do I have a problem the, with? The same thing. No, I don't. Dude, we were in the Bahamas. You could not walk by the damn gambling casino without stopping and going in. I went two hours a day. Where were a you day? in the Bahamas? At, uh, at the Grand Bahama. Oh, yeah. At, at um, Lucayan. Grand Lucayan. Yeah. What's your game? I, I went for two hours yeah. every day. Yeah. I walked in there for two minutes because I had a little bit of a buzz on from the alcohol. And I was like, eh, what the hell? I'll go in there and check it out. I sat down at a blackjack table. First hand I lose. It's a $10 minimum. I'm looking for like the $2, the fine. Yeah, it's 10 yeah, bucks. Yeah. I'm like, that's expensive. Sit down. First hand I lose. I only take 20 bucks in with me. Then I get two blackjacks back to back. I was like, thank you very much. Flip the, the lady a, a $10 chip and walked out. Yeah, that's, that's a big stupid. tip. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like you uh, don't have a problem. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. I uh, I like uh, I like blackjack, uh, and I've just learned craps. Oh, I love craps. Oh, uh, that's something you don't want to learn. No, yeah. you're right. But <laughs> but then, uh, but I love poker. 
I mean, I mean, that's the thing. I played poker for three hours, and it was a $50 tournament. Yeah, poker's great because you can... Like Lose you said, everything you own. No, 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 no. <laughs> but in tournaments, it's great because you just buy in for a fixed yeah, amount and, and play it. forever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Have you done the World Series? Yeah. How many times? Um, four. How, what's the furthest you advanced? Uh, Twelfth. You, you finished twelfth in the World Series of Poker? Yeah, not the main event. What, what game? Uh... It was five thousand. Uh, uh, Texas Hold'em. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No limit Hold'em. Wow. Then what do you win for twelfth in that? Uh, I think it was eighty-five thousand or something like that. Now, honestly, I'm not being funny here. I mean, yeah. obviously, you, it's been in the papers. You've talked about it. You 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 had some uh, you had some trouble gambling or whatever, yeah. like anybody. But yeah. Are you a great poker player? Do you consider I'm, yourself... I'm pretty good. Right. No, I'm not great like great players are. Are you a better player at the table than... Better than average. Right. But are you better in the room than... Are you better than Gabe Kaplan? Is in what in other words, does, does, is, was online gambling your demise? <laughs> yeah. That's where they got you, right? O- online is real hard because it's so fast. And so, yeah. And it's like a video game. It, it is like a video. And, and it then, doesn't seem real like you yeah. said earlier. Yeah. It's really... It's really weird. You can't read people. I mean, I, I tell you, man, one time when I first got into that computer stuff, yeah, it was a, a poker thing. And then um, it was a poker site, and then I was playing and stuff, and I was all tired. And then all of a sudden, like, a guy like came up, like a cartoon guy. It was like, yeah. ding, and he was a cartoon man. <laughs> and then, it, it, like, his, stop, his speak bubble, it said, like, would you like to look at our virtual casino? Yes or no? So then I hit yes. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I'm in a casino and he's like Here's pointing Black at Jack. a craps table, right. a black table, and a sports book and stuff. I'm like, huh, what? And then he's like, <laughs> would you like to place a bet? I'm hit yes. And then all of a sudden it was. Oh, uh, that was it. Yep. Yeah, is that how you got? crazy. Yeah. Because the sports gambling is really what crushed me more. Is it that. really? Yeah. It got you two for a long time ago. Oh, no. I mean, obviously, I'm, you know. Because that makes games so fun to watch. Dude, there's so, no doubt. Yeah. They're extra incentive. Now, have you quit gambling? Pretty well. Pretty close. You get, just because you get saturated by it. Yeah. It almost like, becomes not fun anymore. Yeah, definitely. You lose the rush fun. of it. You do. If yeah. You, if you do it all the time, yeah, you lose it You're, you're fortunate, though, that, I mean... You have another way of making money. You're yes. not a degenerate gambler where you need that money to live. No, that's true. So I you know can get sick like of gambling and be like, I don't need it. Yeah. Those poor bastards got nothing other than oh, yeah. more gambling. It's like a drug addiction. Yeah. yeah. And also it's terrible when casinos show up in a city. Like yeah. especially like in a small place. Yeah. That and so people that don't even know they had gambling problems right. get destroyed. Yeah. And it's always poor people, you know. Yeah. yeah, it's never a rich guy you see no. going, I lost everything in the goddamn Sixers. Yeah. You know, you never hear that <laughs> the guy. The craziest I've ever heard, though, is that there was this guy, Bill Bennett, who was like a some Republican-like guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, Remember? yeah, yeah, yeah. And he has high-limit slots. Yeah. Which apparently is like a, he put $100 yeah. Yeah. at a time and then pull the thing. Yep. It was crazy. There's no way. You just, you just I, pull, I have a yeah. hard time with ten dollar minimum blackjack. <laughs> yeah, and slots is so fast. Ugh. And I don't think you could win in slots. Like well, it, unless I, you win the jackpot, I don't think you can. Well, somebody no. just won a million dollars off a of penny slots. I read that on, on, on the, a penny uh, slot. Yeah. yeah, but here's the thing. Wow. Like there's seven thousand penny slots in a casino. Yeah. Right. Most people are dropping twenty to fifty dollars. So just That's do the math. <laughs> just do the math over three hundred. It's staggering. Yeah. yeah. I love how they say we pay out 97%. I know, right? Yeah, once. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's screwed up vending, too, because, uh, you know, I'm getting into uh, the pinball business. You I'm are? about 30 years too late. But yeah. I forget yeah. what the hell. And I'm you're not in the mafia. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, Norm, here in Norm, Maryland. Norm. <laughs> <laughs> and here in Maryland, uh, there's all of these rules and stipulations because of these, uh, we, we call them cherry picker machines. And also because pinball, you could use it for gambling if you think about it. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you could. You could pay out if they hit the certain Right, so you got to jump stuff. through a lot of hoops. It's crazy. And right. not really? to mention the sticker, the vending sticker is unbelievable. It's like 180 bucks a year year so yeah. you know which i know so it doesn't, sound, doesn't like much. sound like much yeah but you know it cuts into your profit because <laughs> i'm not going to make a whole lot of money off a pinball machine uh, yeah it's just a quarter at a time i guess well no you're going to charge what 75 cents or- oh yeah they're not a quarter anymore no not anymore no. No. back in the I good old lot. days Norman, i remember yeah. that Jeez. You, you could actually get one of those blacks to put the quarter in <laughs>
<laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, come on. I That's have a hilarious. lot of high scores in, uh, in, in machines across the school. What's your game, really? Great Nation? All right. What's your game? Oh, I have two games where I'm, I'm You're masterful. The best. Which ones? Galaga. Yeah. And Ms. Pac-Man. And Pac-Man, if I can find a Pac-Man game. Really? But the women have taken over. You got the pattern? No, I don't do the pattern. On Pac-Man, no. Shut up. I mean, I know it, but I don't do it. Seriously? You mean the pattern where all of a sudden it... it, it, There's a pattern that you can run. Yeah, I don't like doing that. And it'll get you all the way through You do a freestyle the whole time. Yeah, because if you do the pattern, then you can blank, like... 12 screens. Right, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. He wants to play that. the whole game. I like, I like playing. Just Are you a pin, do you like pinball? I like pinball a lot. I'm not that good, but I like. I love it. It's right fun. across the street from the club yeah. tomorrow during the day, if you got... Pinball. There's a pinball museum. Oh, really? It's a got, pinball museum? It's awesome. It's got 800 pinball Oh, my God. Machines. Dude, you'll have a blast. It's literally across the street from the... I used to club. go into... Because uh, I was good at other games, too. Frogger and stuff. Right. But I used to go into the arcades with a big thing of quarters. Yeah. You know, Anybody want to play with kids? And everybody thought I was a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, of, course, of course, that was in 2008. <laughs>